Today we're going to take you through the simple process of creating a league, your first league in Curling IO. So I'm starting off on the in my demo curling club administration area under the league section and I'm just going to click on the new league button. First thing it's asking me to do is put in a name. So I'm going to put in Monday Night Open. Then I'm going to select a start date of we'll say August 7th and we're going to run this until March 9th. I'm going to give it a position of one that just moves it to the top of the list. Um, for the draw schedule, I'm going to select, I'm going to put in my, for the summary, I'm going to put in my uh, my draw times. And for the description, I'm just going to paste some text that I had in another window here. So the description area supports Markdown, so you can add HTML or Markdown to emphasize text or, you know, put links in here, email addresses, or even link, uh, even embed images and stuff. Um, we have a little, we have a little link here to a cheat sheet on how to do, how to use Markdown. Ignore the Twitter section for now. Down here for sponsorship, I'm actually going to add a sponsor. I'm going to throw Tim Hortons in here, so I'm uploading a logo for Tim Hortons and saying sponsored by Tim Hortons. You don't have to put any of that in there if you don't have a sponsor, but you can just put an image in even without a sponsor if you had something that you wanted to publish for it. Registration, I'm going to open up registration on September 1st at 12 o'clock a.m. and I'm going to close registration January 6th, 12 o'clock a.m. For price, I'm going to put $200. For tax, because Demo Curling Club, I've set it up to be in Ontario, it's showing H a checkbox for HST at 13%. So this will vary based on whatever province or state your club is in, and we will show the appropriate taxes for that province or state. Now, you don't have to include tax, so I could be embedding the tax within the price, but that can be a bit of a nightmare when it comes to bookkeeping, so we do recommend that you break it out, but that's entirely up at your discretion at the club. Minimum age and maximum age is just a way to restrict and enforce that registrations require a certain age and we'll figure that out based on the curler's date of birth. So if you wanted to have a junior league that only allowed juniors to register for it or a seniors league that only allowed uh, 50 plus to register for it, you can do that by entering numbers in, into these two boxes. Spots available, this is an inventory level for the league essentially. So I'm going to allow up to 60 curlers to register for this league. This requires a curler profile. Um, is essential um, that you understand how this works because this controls whether or not it's an individual registration or a team registration. So for our leagues, we highly recommend making them all individual registrations. That will allow us to automatically figure out whether or not they've paid their fees. So that would include affiliate fees as well as any club fees that you might want to add. And that way we'll know not to keep charging them those fees. Um, whereas if it was a team registration, you know, some people on the team may have already paid their fees when they registered for something else. And we wouldn't know because they're not assigning their curler profiles to it. So. Um, really the team registration is meant more for bond spiels, but there, it's an option. So if you absolutely need to do team registrations for leagues, you can. Seasonal per curler. This will just prevent the same curler from, re from registering for this event more than once. Just prevents some errors. People may accidentally try to register for the same league when they meant to register for a different one for their second league team restriction, I'm going to select open because this is an open league. I'm going to, for team name, my options are don't ask, optional or required. I'm going to say I want to know the team name. I'm going to leave skip name as don't ask. Typically you would ask for one of these, probably not both. Uh, curler's position, I'm going to make that optional. So because in Curling IO, we have a whole bunch of league management features that will allow you to assemble teams, set up round robins and draw schedules, and even score the games and then publish those results to the public. Um, the If you want to use some of these features and you have a league which 
does have teams and it's not like a pickup league or name out of a hat kind of deal then you probably want to ask for either team or skip name and this is going to save you some work on the back end because you won't the the system will automatically make team recommendations based on whoever's registering what they put into these fields when they register otherwise you would have more work to do by manually assembling teams lineups we generally don't recommend you ask for this again this is mainly for team registrations um, your options here are names are optional names are required or names and emails are required the reason why you typically wouldn't ask for lineups when you're doing individual registrations is because everyone on the team is registering themselves and then they would all end up entering the same lineup over and over again which can annoy people number of alternates is related to lineups and that it just adds additional text fields um, for all, each of the alternates depending on the number that you put in here publish registrations this is similar to a sign-up sheet at a, on a cork board at the club in that if this button is checked we will show a registrations tab for the league where members and the public can go and see who's registered for it so they'll know whether or not their buddy has signed up for the league that they're interested in we do not publish the um, any like contact information uh, it's just the the name of the curler the team name or skip and or skip name if you're asking for that in the curlers position if you're asking for that so just the fields that you're asking for here publish schedule and results this again is related to curling IO's league management where if you wanted to use our draw schedules to create your draw schedules and do your scoring and publish standings then you'll want to make sure that this is checked if you're not using any of that and all you're doing is taking registrations then you can uncheck this because you won't need to worry about it allowing spares so if you want this league to participate in our sparing features which is a feature on the public side where curlers can go into their profile and select which leagues they're able to spare for then for a league to show up on that list this box needs to be checked this private here this is for private registrations the main purpose of this is to allow you to open up register registration to a subset of your curlers ahead of time so if you only wanted let's say you had a bunch of returning teams from a previous season so if you wanted to give them early access or dibs on registration before you open it to the general public then you can check this box and then we will generate a unique URL and then you can take copy that URL and email it to them and only they will have access um, to this to registering for this league by clicking that specific URL you send them uh, it won't show up on the list listing view and no one else without that link would be able to purchase it notification email this is where I could you probably wouldn't use this if you're an administrator because you already have access to the all the registrations through the admin and it can get a little spammy but this is where I would put in the email of say a league manager who doesn't have access to the admin or maybe I have a league that's a rental league that a third party is managing and they want to know every time someone registers so I can put their email address or addresses in here just separate them with commas and then they will receive an email every time someone registers add-ons and fees so I'm going to set up my affiliate fees so again this club is in Ontario so we require members to pay the curling Canada fee and the curling Ontario fee um, we also have an adult membership fee and a youth membership fee and I'm going to make all of these required but curlers won't pay any of these more than once because they've all been set up to be seasonal per curler um, I'm also going to add a locker add-on here which I've set up previously in my product section um, one thing to, to make note of is the adult and youth membership um, I have both of these fees here but a curler will never pay both of these they'll only pay one or the other and only once per season and that's because I've set up these fees to have age restrictions on them where only curlers that are 18 and over are eligible for the adult membership and curlers 17 and under are eligible for the youth membership 
So custom fields, so far all we're asking for when curlers register is their curler profile, which will contain their contact information. Um, and we're asking for the team name, skip name, position, maybe, if we if we said we, we wanted to ask for that information. But if we had anything else we wanted to ask them, then we can use custom fields for that. So we can ask them any questions we want, we just have to create custom fields um, for those questions. So I've already got a few of those created. I wouldn't want to ask for contact information because this is already on their curler profile, so I'll already have that info. Um, but I could, for example, ask them if this is their first time curling with us. And so this, this custom field here happens to be a checkbox that they can just check when they register. Custom fields can also be drop downs, text boxes, uh, large text areas, or even attachments or date fields. For discounts, I'm going to set up a couple multi-league discounts for this league. So what this means is these two discounts I created ahead of time. And what they do is if this is the second league that you're purchasing at the club for a specific curler, you will receive a 20% discount. And if it's the third league or fourth or fifth, um, then you will receive a 50% discount on that specific league. And so basically you pay full price for the first league, 20% off your second league, and then 50% off your third. That's a pretty common one. Um, we do have other discounts. You can do age-based discounts, so you can have a, a juniors or a seniors discount. We also have early bird type discounts where you can say, if someone registers for this league 60 days before registration closes, give them 5% off or whatever it is, however much you want to give them off. Um, we also have discounts that can be based on custom fields. So I've set up a discount here that says if the first time curler box is checked, give them 10% off. Um, you can also have like a coupon code would be another way of using the custom fields discount. So if I wanted to have a custom field called coupon, and then I could have a discount that says when someone fills in this specific word for the coupon um, or code or whatever, uh, then they receive a discount. So I think these are good enough for our discounts, and that's it for our league. So we've created a league, and we're pretty much good to go. So if I click on the preview here, we can see this on the front end. So this is what your curlers would see, and this is the screen on the listings. And then they would just be able to add it to their cart. And we'll, we will cover the actual registration process in another video. Um, so I'm not going to go any further for now. But uh, thank you for tuning in. And... Uh, we will continue to publish videos on how to set up your club within Curling.io, so stay tuned.